Pikachu here and oh, <gasps> cookie croissants are on the menu, which is a popular pastry, a French pastry that is going viral on TikTok. It originated in Paris in a boulangerie called Maison Louvard. Oh, fancy. I have here a 12 pack of croissants. Look at my 12 pack. And I freshly baked them. Oh, I spent three days hustling and bustling in this kitchen, in Look at You's kitchen. $6.99. A little more expensive than Costco. I believe Costco is $5.99, but I canceled my Costco membership. Do you want to know why? You want to know why? I only go to Costco for two things. Salmon and Tabasco sauce. The big one? Yeah, not worth the money, not worth the $70 a year. These are a little light golden color. Okay, don't look for croissants that are more tan, have been in the sun for too long because we're gonna bake them. Speaking of sun, there's gonna be a solar eclipse on April 8th. Okay, we got croissants. Oh, they look so good. I just wanna eat it. Can I eat? Can I eat one? Do you give me permission? I will eat the ugly one. Which one's ugly? Oh, this one's hideous. I will eat it. My blood sugar has risen. My insulin is spiking. I like cuisine. Let the cooking commence. Okay. I'm gonna make six. All right, the rest, the ugly ducklings, which are Still delicious, okay? What matters is on the inside. According to Louvard, he bakes his croissants for three days. I mean, he makes the croissant for three days. He bakes it for like, I don't know, a couple minutes. But the croissants, once baked, he lets them age for three hours on the table. Now that, that is, that is a great way to put it, okay? I would just call them, leave it out to become stale, but let it age, okay? So we have one day aged croissants. All we gotta do, slice them in half. ka -chow! You may be wondering, <laughs> look at you, how did this? weird concoction even get invented. Well, Stéphane Louvard of the Maison of Louvard. Maison means house. Louvard is his last name. Boulangerie is a French bakery. On a gorgeous Saturday morning, the sun is shining, the cows are chirping. He baked a beautiful array of croissants like I just did. And he was like, let's have some fun. This beat is sick. So he stuffed the croissants with choco chip cookie dough. That seems like a faux pas. American meets French. But bam I think if I made that, it would cause a riot. Gently open. We don't want to cut it all the way to the bottom. Okay, we want to make a little sandwich. If your croissants are too fresh, you know, it would be like stringy, but we got a nice flat top, like Benihana. Ching, 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 ching. Catch the onion, catch the steak piece. All right, on the menu at the bakery, they call this cookie croissant, they call it, guess, guess. Oh, how'd you know? They call this croissant cookie, le cookie. If I were them, I would ship it as 
le croissant uki. Le croissant uki. Le croissant uki. Or le kuski. What? The second ingredient to this two ingredient recipe. Yes, it is two ingredients. Croissant is one ingredient. And chocolate chip cookie dough is another ingredient. Yes, this is Pillsbury, Pillsbury Doughboy. You know the guy that, this cutie, this cutie over here? You're a cutie too, but this one's cuter. I just wanna poke his belly every time, you know? Pillsbury Doughboy, poke, poke, poke. But it's a fictional character, so we will never be able to poke Pillsbury's belly. This dough does not contain eggs. All right, look at this log. Okay, we're gonna set these croissants. We're going to ship it to you, okay? So hurry up, take it. Thank you. Now we have more room, more room. So much room for activities. Obligatory cookie dough taste test. I know I'm a true baker. And true bakers, they use the, the string, the rope, or they use floss, okay? But my floss is Easy Glide, mint flavor, whitening. So I don't want my chocolate cookie dough to taste like toothpaste. So we're using a nice sharp knife. Cut it. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, look at that cross section. Mmm, look at those choco chips. Hey, they sort of look mini. They don't look fully, full size. You know, the big beefy boys, they look like little pellets. I smell shrinkflation. Pillsbury. He said 60 grams. 60 grams? Fun fact it is like two cookies. So two cookies, how convenient. We're gonna close it like this. Like a nice sandwich, a nice croissant with prosciutto and maybe some buffalo mozzarella, mozzarella. Now the top, okay, Stefan says is 40 grams, which is an odd number. Anyways, we're gonna do one like that. We will be slicing it in half, okay? So we're just gonna do that. We're not gonna put too much because we still want the croissant to show. So on both sides, just a little bit. We gotta let the belly button shine, you know, the middle part. Do not block it, do not do that. They just do that, okay? Don't spread it, don't be like, spreading it, smearing it like sunscreen. You should all use sunscreen, okay. You don't wanna get UV'd. Now, I might have had like a bunch of crumbs on my face because of the croissants I've been eating. You did not see it, okay? You did not see it. Master Chef Lamiku, how's it looking? Do a little sniffy. Let's get this video to 200 likes so you can give Miku a flaky piece of croissant at the end of next video. <gasps> I'm preheating the oven to 350 Fahrenheit, 180 Celsius. Kawabunga, homie. Sorry. I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. Wait, how do we bake this? Okay, do we just toss it in the oven? We just throw it in? No, do not do that. You have to use a giant baking tray. But bam Ow. We got some parchment paper. Yes! Uno. Dose. Four. Oh wait, I can oh, do it like that. Oh, am I a baker or what? 
Don't tell me. No mixy mix song today. That is music to my ears. I love that sound. It is time to place it in the oven now. So let's go do that. And we are back, California. Fresh out of the oven. Okay, this baked for 12 minutes. We got some chocolate chips. Just put it in like so. It'll melt from the residual heat. This is not a crucial step, but it makes it look a bit cuter, you know? And let's head to the taste test. All right, so this is the finished product. And I'm super excited. Oh, we got a tall glass of what? Of milk, lactose-free, because of course you cannot eat chocolate chip cookies with, oops, without some milk. All right, which one should we choose? Can you pick one? Pick one in your head and then I'm gonna pick one. Okay, I'm gonna pick this one, the middle one. Oh, look at that. Why do I pick this one? It's cause you can see the cookie dribbled out. So you can see a nice crust here. All right, cheers. First bites for you. Mm, nom nom nom. Oh, which side should I eat? I'll eat this side. Mm. Oh, I forgot to dance. The cookie on top, nice and crispy. Croissant, nice and flaky. Do you hear that? I'm having an existential crisis. Let's wash it down with a cold glass of milk. This is quite sweet, but the salty milk balances it out. Whoa, you can see the filling. You guys see it? Oh, squeeze it out like a pimple. Appetizing. Oh, look at that gooiness. Looks like a grilled cheese, but instead of cheese, it's cookie dough. I know you've been thinking this, okay? We're gonna dip the croissant. We're gonna dip it like an Oreo cookie, if it fits. Oh, oh, a big dip, a big dip. No, no, immediately no, immediately no, no, that is not good. Do not do that. Tastes like soggy bread. You cannot mess with this. You cannot mess this up. The only thing you can mess up is your tummy because you're gonna eat all 12 of these and you're gonna be sick. And I'll see you guys next time. Miku gets cheese. Eat. Yummy, right? And if you're still here, comment, I'm a crookie head to confuse everyone. <gasps>